In year 2010, Vlade Divac made a documentary movie for ESPN called, Once Brothers, where he tried to explain why Drozhin Petrovich stopped talking to him in NBA. But the whole premise of this documentary was in fact based on a lie, a lie created from Vlade Divac, who in fact had good intentions, who really loved Drozhin Petrovich, but he did not present it to the people, the real truth why Drozhin stopped talking with him during NBA seasons from year 1990 until year 1993 when Drozhin died in tragic car accident, the real truth is this, Drozhin Petrovic, by ethnicity Croatian, and Vlade Divac, by ethnicity Serbian, were not even best friends in Yugoslavia. Not to mention that they were, brothers in that squad. Drozhin Petrovic's best friend and what we could call a, brother in Yugoslavian and Croatian team was, Stojko Vrankovic, what is weird about Divac's documentary Once Brothers is, if he made a documentary about him and Drozhin, which he did made and called it Once Brothers, and he called almost all ex-Yugoslavian players to that documentary to talk about this, then why Divac did not invite Stojko Vrankovic to this documentary? Well, because Stojko Vrankovic knows the real truth, and of course Divac did not want that to happen, and of course he couldn't invite him to documentary, and Stojko Vrankovic would not participate in it anyway, because Vrankovic knew that documentary was based on a lie created by Divac. The greatest lie in documentary at once brothers was that Drosin Petrovic got angry on Vlade Divac because Vlade Divac took the Croatian flag from Croatian person and removed it from the court, on Basketball World Cup in Argentina in 1990. The real truth was that Drozhin Petrovic got angry on Divac a year after flag incident, because Divac never asked Drozhin Petrovic how is his family in Croatia, because Yugoslav Serbian army was bombing his country Croatia. Furthermore, Divac was saying in USA Media 1991 that Croatians wants to kill all Serbs in Croatia. This of course, made Drozhin Petrovic very upset and angry on Vlade Divac, who later on presented himself like a saint in his documentary at Once Brothers, and Drozhin was portrayed as a nationalist, but Drozhin just didn't like what Devac was saying about Croatia in USA medias in early 90s. Let me get into something off the court with you. I know we've seen stories and read stories about your relationship with Vladi Divac. You were very close, played together in Yugoslavia, but you're Croatian, he is Serbian. Have you even spoken in the two times your teams have gotten together? No, we didn't spoke and uh, I was really close with him my first year when I was playing with the Portland, but you know, the things get uh, rough in our country and uh, we, didn't, we didn't spoke since then. Is that because, honestly, you do not like Vladi Divac now or because like, you can't I allow like yourself to, to talk I, to him? I like Vladi, I think he's a real good guy and, uh, and uh, he's a good basketball player, but you know, it's kind of a more political thing than anything else. Strazen Petrovic earlier tonight, you know, he and Vladi Divac used to talk long distance several times a week as they made the transition to the NBA, and now nary a word. We'll be back. Here is an article from Seattle Times, from April 3, 1993, when Drossen was still alive. I will leave a link for this article in description of this video. In this article Drossen said everything why he stopped talking with Divac, and what was the real truth, not what was shown in Divac's ESPN documentary at Once Brothers. I will quote just one segment from this article from 1993, from Seattle Times, between Drozhin Petrovic and Divac, quote from an article, when told that Petrovic resents Divac's not calling after the war began, Divac blurted out, Drozhin lying, when Petrovic was told Divac said if someone had carried a Serbian flag on the court in Argentina, Divac would have thrown it down. Petrovic snapped, I don't think so, when told that Divac is sad that their relationship has ended, Petrovic again said, I don't think so. When asked why, Petrovic said, all Serbians like that, to make stories in the paper. All the Serbians think the whole world is against them and they do the right thing. They like to put the heartbreaking story in the paper. They're good at that. You've had a lot on your mind this season with all the conflict going on in Yugoslavia. Has that been difficult for you? Yeah, it's been real difficult. I mean, civil war in Croatia and uh, you've got to stay tough and uh, play, do your job here and uh, play the basketball and uh, be on the phone every day s to see, you know, your friends, how they're doing and uh, my family is still over there. Are you close with any of the other Yugoslavian players in the league? I used to, I used to be very close with the Vlade Divac mm -hmm. and we used to talk every, almost every second day, but right, right now I saw him a couple of weeks when we played in LA, we talked for a little, quite a while and uh, that's it. 
To quote Droshin Petrovich from the Seattle Times article from 1993, Petrovich now says the flag incident was only a part of his complaint about Divac. There was a difference, he said, but that's not why we're not talking anymore. When war started, he never called, teammates Dino, Raja or Tony or myself and asked what was going on. He never called to ask if our families were all right. He stopped calling, so there's no reason for me to call back. We're not talking anymore. The point of this video and main question of this video is this, if Vlad Divac really liked Drosin Petrovich, why didn't he told the entire truth in his documentary at Once Brothers? The point of this video is not to show Drosin Petrovich as the saint and Vlay Divac as the villain, but the point is that both of them had their own reasons why they didn't want to talk to each other's, and for Drosin Petrovich the reason was not the flag from World Cup in 1990, but what Vlay Divac was saying in USA medias about Croatia in 1991, in 1992, and in 1993. That's why Drosin Petrovich refused to talk with Vlay Divac. Many people are saying that Vlade Divac is a good person, I have no doubt about that. But if he wanted to make things right, if he wanted to make peace with himself and with Drozin, in documentary at Once Brothers, why did he lied about the reason why Drozin stopped talking to him in NBA, I don't see how that is honorable from Vlade Divac. It is obvious that Divac do not want to recall some of his own words of hatred for Croatia in early 90s, which insulted Drosin Petrovic because of his homeland Croatia, but if Vlade Divac do not want to recall what how he behaved about this subject in early 90s in USA and NBA, about the war in ex-Yugoslavia, then why would he make documentary at once brothers, with false statements about Drosin Petrovic reasons not talking to him? Well, it seems that Vlade Divac had good intentions, but you all know for the saying, the road to hell is made of good intentions. Thank you for watching.